Let's just look at the foundation. The foundation is offering me, well, not foundation, but let's just look at this, but just, ugh, but. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sunscreen Saturday or Sunday. I'm shooting this on Friday and I'm not sure I'll be able to edit it. But it's been a little while. I have to tell you that I have three favorite sunscreens and two of them I can't find anymore. They're all three Asian sunscreens and the two that are kind of MIA are Korean. And they have those newfangled next generation sun blockers like Juvenal. And I can't remember the, uh, the other name, the other one. But I just love them because they don't sit on my skin. They feel like they're sinking into the skin. It feels like it's almost like a, a serum weight, but it doesn't look like a serum. And they're my favorite. They are moisturizing without being emollient. They don't dry me out. They don't make me itch. They don't make me turn red. They don't make me sting. I love them. And... I'm having a hard time. So my drawer of sunscreens that I turn to, sorry about next door, not a thing I can do, nothing. I can't remember what I was saying. My drawer is getting smaller and I need to be on the hunt for something else. The thing I love about the Korean sunscreens and the Japanese sunscreens, not only do they have those next generation sun blockers, but they're inexpensive. The two that I loved, one was 20 bucks and one was like 12 bucks. If you have any ideas, please don't suggest anything with alcohol. No alcohol is a must for me. So I thought I would do a review on something I have been using for several months, but I haven't spoken about. And I don't use the same sunscreen every day. So this is one I use once in a while or I mix with something else. It has the same feeling as the dermatology but the color is much lighter. Yes, it's tinted. Yes, it's mineral for those of you who like that. Before I put it on my face, let me just read to you a little bit about it. These are the benefits. Provides a broad spectrum UVA, UVB sun protection SPF 36 with a lightweight all mineral formulation. I agree. Evens and brightens skin with a glowing tint for most skin types. So if you want something matte, you're not going to like this. Powerful antioxidants help protect skin from pollution, IR rays, and blue light. Provides long-lasting hydration, fragrance-free and reef-friendly, water-resistant for 40 minutes. But I didn't know that. I do not think that this is transfer-proof. So it's weird that something can be water-resistant. I guess it just adheres to your skin. No white residue, 100%. These are the highlights of the ingredients. Titanium dioxide, 8.9, and zinc, 3.4%. I like that ratio because I don't like zinc. I find it to be incredibly drying, makes my face tingle. It is a drying ingredient. I, you know, I saw Angie in the last couple of months say, it's, it's so gentle, you put it on baby's butts for diaper rash, which imbued me with the desire to put something you put on a baby's butt on my face. <laughs> But more than that, the whole thing about the rash is not to have it moist because it's never going to heal, right? Zinc, it dries the shit out of your ass and your face. Okay, a whole bunch of things I cannot pronounce. Let me get my broken glasses and I will do my best. But I've never, when I read this, I thought, wow, I've never seen so many things I cannot pronounce. Like, I've never heard of this stuff. Phytoen and phytofluin powerful antioxidants to further protect the skin. Thermus, thermophilus, phileus, ferment. Counteracts infrared generated free radicals. Aster, iscus, gravolens extract helps prevent air pollution induced oxidative stress. Hydroxymethoxphenol, Discanoni, highly potent hyaluronic acid booster, antioxidant and anti-irritant, and ecotin helps provide protection from blue light and can repair sun damage that has already occurred within the skin. 
So these are all pretty impressive things. This is what happens, you guys. There is a mathematical formulation for how much sunscreen do you need on your face to get the SPF that is on the bottle. Yes. If you just put a little bit on your finger and go boop, boop, protected, SPF 50, you'd be wrong. You have to have a certain amount on your face in order to get this coverage. Totally makes sense, right? So the mathematical calculation is two millimeters of product per centimeter square of surface. And somebody, a dermatologist, did this. He measured his face, the whole deal, and he came up with a quarter teaspoon. So women can be smaller than men, not necessarily so. So I'm thinking a heaping quarter teaspoon for face and neck, and I'm pretty covered. It may not be exactly the formula, but it's pretty darn close. I know what a quarter teaspoon looks like, but I bring these out so you guys can see what it looks like in your hands. If you're doing sunscreen and you're not doing enough sunscreen, it kind of doesn't matter. One, two, three. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you the name of this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is not very heaping. The name of this brand is Elastin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm in a hurry, you guys. That's why I'm doing this, because it's tinted, and I'm not going to do makeup today. I think I'm going to do just a little concealer, which I'm testing, and do this, and I might put something else on top of it. We'll see. So it is called Elastin Hydro Tint Pro Mineral SPF 36. Not bad, YouTuber. And this is what a quarter teaspoon looks like. As you can see, it's a little bit running, and the color is really good when it first comes out. It does oxidize, it does change color, so it's a little too dark for me, but most tinted sunscreens are too dark for me. Or they're a little bit gray, like the My Shell is a little bit gray, and the My Shell Someone had written me the other day saying she found it so drying. It is a little drying. It is. It's not nearly as drying as the Australian gold. But it is a little bit drying. And I moisturize my face very nicely. I use a couple of essences, a vitamin C. I just started using a May Love serum, a hydrator, which is very nice. Then I do a light moisturizer that is really like a lotion. Let that sink in for a minute and I use the Verse product to kind of lock everything in and that has squalene in it and then I do the liquid gold. So I do basically three moisturizers of varying weights. It's just my preference. And that's one little layer. I still have plenty more to go. Oh, I forgot my neck. <laughs> okay, we'll just pull some of this down. And of course, if you are a sunscreen person like I am, you know that you should be wearing sunscreen year round, but it's possible you could go from an SPF 50 to an SPF 30 in the cooler months. I have also heard, but I don't know how true this is, but I have heard uh, people say the reason we have such high SPFs is because most people don't Put on enough. So maybe we don't actually need a 50. Maybe if we wear the right amount, we can get away with a 30. And this is just so comfortable and so pretty on the skin. All right. I love the color. I love the way it feels. There is dimethicone in here, but it doesn't feel dimethicone y. Like I found that the Tatcha sunscreen, I can't remember what it's called. It just feels like a pile of dimethicone and it feels like it's locking in the heat of my head and making me hotter. I do not get that feeling with this and I have worn this in the summertime. But today I'm like, I need to drop Lucy off at the vet because we're back on, we can't go into the vet's office. And uh, I just want to put a little something on because it's morning and I, I just, I'm not there yet. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to, I'm doing a test video on, as a concealer, this Anastasia. So I am going to stop here and shoot the footage of putting this on, 
and we'll come back and see how much or if the color has changed at all and back in a flash. All right, I have done my concealer and I feel like, you know, the concealer's lighter, so now it looks like I've been wearing ski goggles. It's a little weird looking. But let's look at this tinted sunscreen. I feel like I have foundations that have this kind of coverage. The coverage is quite nice. I could also put some foundation on this if this turns too warm for me which it will in the winter time for sure, or if I want a little bit more coverage. But when I need to run an errand really quickly, I haven't done my skincare yet, but I'm going to be in the car for 10 minutes each way or something like that, I go with something like this or the Dermatology. And this feels very similar to the Dermatology, but the color is better. It's not as dark as the Dermatology and doctor approved and lots of good things. I tell you what I'm thinking I'm going to do because it's so early I will come back in about three or four hours and show you what it's looking like but I'm here to tell you that I this isn't really a test I've been wearing this for months and I very very much enjoy it it just feels comfortable it doesn't feel greasy but it is hydrating it doesn't have too much zinc in it so I don't get that dry itchy feeling from it it doesn't feel like the CeraVe, which I reviewed, and I got the wrong one that was just like putting thick grease on your face. It was so weird and also tinted, but I ended up throwing that away because even though I saw the use for it, for me, after microneedling, I would put on something like that. It's thick, so I know that it's occlusive. It will lock out dust, dander, just anything from getting into that tender skin after microneedling. It was such a messy situation application that the bottle was filthy. I may buy it again because for after procedure I like it, but this is just as good. As I said, I got it from my doctor who specializes in laser stuff. Uh, so yeah, I didn't do any laser stuff, but I am thinking about it. In fact, I'm going to see him on Tuesday and talk about what he has available because every dermatologist isn't buying every platform, you know, so he has, I think, two platforms, maybe three, or one platform and two standalone machines. And I'm thinking very seriously about doing some laser to get rid of my dark area here and my spider veins, or maybe I'll just do the rejuvenation thing like Angie had done with Fraxel years ago, but not with Fraxel, which is a brand, um, but with his, he's on IM mode. Anyway, I digress, you guys. If you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, let me know and, you know, I'll bring my little phone with me and, and we'll see the doctor and talk about what the options might be or something like that. And I'll be back in well, four hours. All right, you guys, it's about four hours later, maybe five. And I took Lucy to the vet, so I had the mask on a lot, and I was waiting in the car. But the mask I had on because I decided, well, I'm gonna go run some errands while I'm waiting for this. So I went into a couple of stores and I wore the mask and I went to a Starbucks and blah, 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 blah. So mask for a good deal of time. And honestly, I didn't bring my mask in, but my mask wasn't clean anyway, so you wouldn't have been able to see. There's a little bit of sweat going on here, but it adheres to the face really, really well. And I think it really looks like skin. It doesn't look like one of those heavier mineral sunscreens. But this is only one color, and this color is fine for me right now. I'm not so sure it's gonna be so great for me later on. But it's so comfortable, you guys. I know it's expensive, but you know what? There's a lot of expensive brands out there, and I do like to mix it up here. I much prefer a Korean or Japanese sunscreen that's 15 bucks because I use my sunscreen every day and I use a lot of it, but if you like things that are expensive, and there are people out there who do, this one's $55, and while it feels similar to the Dermatology, the color is not as colorful. In fact, let me go get it and I'll show you. This is the Dermatology, the old packaging, right there. Oh, that's so interesting. So this one seems cooler 
and this one is much more yellow. And this one, you can see, is much more runnier than this one. They have the same kind of feeling, but this, to me, is much more neutral. Like, it's kind of going with my hand. And this one, much more yellow. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that. When it dries down, it's going to be much more orange. Now, I'm just going to mix these guys together and put them on my face, because why not? See how much lighter that is when you first put it on? It'll, it'll warm up. Since I don't have any makeup on, I'm just doing what you're supposed to do, reapply. Because it's been on for four hours. Yeah. It builds nice upon itself. Of course, I don't have any makeup on. I didn't put on any blush, but I did put on some concealer. You guys, that is it for this episode of Sunscreen Saturday. This is a sunscreen that I love. It is Elastin. I have to read it here. Hydro Tint Pro Mineral SPF 36 with titanium dioxide 8.9% and zinc oxide 3.4%. And it's a winnie din din to me. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful to you and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.